welcome to Bethy Life, Sarah. I'm so glad to have you here. I've been scouting you for a long time and we finally got together. <laughs> Yay, thank you so much for having me. This is so fun. We had the best time on our photo shoot. So let's get right to it. I really wanna hear about your jewelry line, your mm -hmm. company, you've expanded. You're wearing a jacket, which at the end of the interview, I'm gonna have you stand up, show the back hat, earrings. Tell us all about your line. Okay, so um, I started full time, I guess about four years ago. Before that, I was in nonprofit world. I worked at Texas Children's Hospital and also American Red Cross. Um, then I actually went to the Houston Nutcracker Market. I bought a ton of jewelry spent way too much money on it all. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna figure out how to make this stuff. So I just started buying supplies and then I started making stuff. And then my friends were like, I wanna pay you for this. Can I buy this off of you? Uh -huh. So it just kind of started from there. And then I went on Etsy and it kind of blew up. And then I started my own website and it's just been really great ever since. So you sell not only the earrings, you sell hats, jackets, you've expanded to a lot of other things. Yes, even to shoes. <laughs> oh, really? Tell Just one that. pair so far, oh, yeah. but yeah. Have you always been artistic like that? Or is this something new that, that you created out of need? Um, well, it was a need. I uh -huh. knew that I was not happy where I was in the profession that I was in. It was fulfilling in a fact like, helping others, but in terms of my creativity side, I wasn't really utilizing that. So I have always been very artistic ever mm -hmm. since I was like really little. I've always been making stuff. Uh -huh. um, and I just think I'm so blessed. I think it's pretty uncommon to be able to make a living off of crafting, so <laughs> Yeah, it's, cool. it's very uncommon and you're really, really lucky. And I noticed in the one question where it said, if you weren't in this profession, what else would you do? And you were like, I would do this. Yes, Yes. there's nothing else I would do. <laughs> so give us a few of your beauty tips. You're beautiful, and but your makeup is beautiful. Your skin is Thank beautiful. You. Give, share a few beauty tips. Um, so I try to work out regularly. Um, I would say Soul Cycle and Pilates are my go-tos. Mm -hmm. I also really enjoy running. Um, as far as like my skin and stuff, I try to drink a gallon of water a day. Oh, a gallon? Yes. <laughs> I wish I did that. Yeah, yeah. I uh -huh. just really feel like it helps my skin and it kind of like flushes you out, makes you feel skinny. So right. we all want that. Right. For sure, for sure. <laughs> and then makeup, I just watch YouTube makeup tutorials and stuff like that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's clever. Yeah. Do you have anyone in particular you follow? Or um, I love Jaclyn Hill. She's kind of the one who got me into the whole makeup tutorial world. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's so exciting. So what are some of your hobbies when you're not working? Well, I work pretty much all the time <laughs> and it is my hobby. So I'm lucky in that sense. But um, I also have a little Pomeranian Shih Tzu dog that's kind of like my child. So um, I spend a lot of time with him and then my friends and family and working out. <laughs> we should have brought the doggy on your phone. I know shoot. we should have. Right now he has pink hair for Valentine's Day. <gasps> oh, really? <laughs> yes. He always has like crazy. Oh, and I make custom jackets for them too. You do? Yes. There's a big market for that. I know. <laughs> so, and you dye his hair pink? So right now, well, it depends on the holiday, but right now it's pink for Valentine's Day, so he has a pink mohawk and pink paws and um, a little pink tail. Okay, you're gonna have to send me a picture of that yes. so I can put it in the box. <laughs> okay, I will. That's so cute. So what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Uh, be yourself. Mm. I wish I would have taken that advice so long ago. Years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, as soon as I started being myself, like my business, my happiness, everything just was on such a different level. So leading up to that, were you following a path that wasn't you? Yeah, I think um, ever since I was little, I was raised like very um, conservatively. And so my whole life, everything that I was ever taught was, you know, you have to do certain things and kind of work the corporate ladder and um, get married at certain mm -hmm. ages and do all those things. And so I was really trying hard to fit into that mold, like really hard. So what made, what made you turn around and say, oh, I'm gonna stop this and be myself? Well, I've always like kind of reared off and did my own thing. And then I would come back and try to fit the mold again. Um, I think just finally, like, when I would be myself, 
realizing that stuff just started working really well for me. Well, you started attracting the right things. Exactly. When you start putting out an aura of who you really are, then you start attracting things mm -hmm. that fit into who you are, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. I'm a big believer in all that. I noticed one of the questions I ask is, do you have any irrational fears? And you said, I won't mention it because it puts it out there. Yes, I used to. Yeah. <laughs> well, I still do, but I don't talk about it. Right, because um, I liked that answer because mm -hmm. One time my daughter said, sent me a text saying, worrying is wishing things that you don't want to happen. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. It's the same idea. Yeah, and they say like the universe can't tell a difference either way if you put it out there. So I just try not to put it out there. I love that advice. And I've I've taken that advice before and I'm going to retake it again because you yeah, to forget it's that. It's easy to... Forget. <laughs> it's easy to forget and worry about things that you don't want to happen, mm -hmm. you know, and then you start attracting that. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what are some of your favorite places in Houston to hang out or shop or? Um, I would say one of my favorite stores is Favor the Kind. I, I have kind of like a, I like kind of hippie stuff like that. Where so. is that? Um, it's in the Heights. Okay, I love it's the It's really cute. Yeah. Um, of course, if it was my store, I would probably add some more like glam stuff in there too, uh -huh. but they have really cute home stuff. So I, um, in the past year, got a new apartment. So I've been really into oh, decorating it and making it that. like my little happy place. So I love shopping for a new place. That's yeah, so it's fun. so fun. So tell us something humorous about yourself that people don't know. I don't know. I saw that question on your questions and I had a hard, that was honestly the one that I had the hardest time with. Uh -huh. um, I don't know that I find myself really funny necessarily, but I find like dry humor funny. Yeah. So for instance, um, one of the girls who works for me, she came over last weekend and we were dying laughing. I don't know if you've heard that new rap song with Cardi B. I think uh, it's like bust down. Uh -huh. <laughs> she was like doing the worm to that and we were like rolling on the floor and crying. We were laughing so hard. So it was just stupid, silly things like that. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Well, another thing you and I have in common, I know you have a lot of girlfriends uh -huh. and I'm a girl person mm -hmm. too. And it just is so fulfilling in life when you have a lot of girlfriends. We ran into each other recently oh, yeah. at B19 and you were hosting a big girl uh -huh. party and I was at a big girl party and it, it just makes life so much more fulfilling to have close For friends. For sure. It makes it so much better. And honestly, I didn't start really nurturing those relationships until probably the past year after I went through a bad breakup and it's just changed That's my life. That's when they really come. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's changed my life in such a positive way to have like strong, independent women around me at right. all times. So, right, right. Yeah. It's, it's the best. It really is. <laughs> so tell us, where is your favorite place you've traveled or where do you want to travel? Um, my favorite place that I've traveled will probably be Bali or Tulum. Mm. So incredible, I love both. I know, I think you said you, if you were to get married, you'd want to get mm -hmm. married in Tulum. Yeah. yeah, but I haven't told anyone that other than you. So. Right. And the whole world now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See in Tulum. Just manifesting that over here. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That, now that's a good thing to put out in the yeah, universe. Yeah, that's true. Where else would you like to travel? Or is um, like um, on your bucket list? I don't know. I really like, oh, the Maldives. I saw some mm. pictures of the Maldives this morning. I really like tropical places. So. Yeah, me too. I'm not yeah. into being cold. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. So you mentioned, I asked about books and you mentioned one author. Mm -hmm. Who was it and why is that author, you said you read everything by that author? Um, so it's Gabby Bernstein and I just think that she's incredible. Um, Oprah called her one of like the spiritual leaders of our generation or our time. Mm -hmm. um, everything, it just has helped me a lot in my life. Everything that she's put out, I read her books over it. Well, I actually listen to all of them on Audible because uh -huh. I'm always using my hands uh -huh. making Can stuff. Move that away from me? Oh, thank yeah. you. Um, so I'm always using my hands, so I listen to everything on Audible. So what does she write about? That um, It's all kind of like spiritual stuff, all kind of about the universe and setting intentions and kind of what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Um, I'm going to follow up on that. I she's love really stuff good. like that. Yeah. That's phenomenal. She's amazing. I love everything that she puts out. That's so awesome. Yeah. 
Well, everyone, you need to go to her website. Yes. Look at her jewelry and everything. Do you mind? Turn around oh, and yeah. show them the back of your sure. jacket. Isn't that phenomenal? I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. And I love you. Oh, and thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much.